is it? It's me. And today we're gonna be watching some wholesome TikToks. <laughs> the number one rule in drinking applesauce must end each sip with a <sighs> Like, <laughs> if you don't, he'll do it for you. <laughs> Come on, let everybody know how refreshing that was. My family, you're never gonna find a man who puts up with your stuffed animal collection. My boyfriend, hanging a hammock for the squishmallows that can't fit on our bed. <gasps> oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> You lucky duck. Cause it must be nice. Like my dude got on a shelf. Was like, oh, you can't fit them on your bed? Let me make a hammock. And put the rest of the squishmallows in there. So sweet, I'm gonna throw up. My mom's hint when she forgets her password. Press the space button four <laughs> times, then enter. <laughs> One, two, three, four. That cannot be the password. <laughs> it's the password! <laughs> Literally her hint is the password. This is a hacker's dream breaking into her computer. Press the space button four times like, I didn't even know you could make the space button your password. There isn't even a letter in her password. You told me every time I log into my computer instead of typing in my password, I could just like one, two, three, four, and be logged in. I think mother is onto something. Hold your dog up to the wall to see if they stop themselves. If they do, they're smart. Oh no, he's not smart. <laughs> not at all, did not even Ooh. see the wall coming. Smoosh his face first into it. My dogs, nope. They keep their hands like this at all times. Just in case a wall appears. We do this every night after she takes her pills. She gets a little cup for her pills, smushes it, and makes a little hat for a little friend. Oh, he is a world-class chef now. When she's on her iPad, exactly. she might as well be up in the moon. She's in another world. <laughs> now be and nice stop putting grandma on blast like that. You know it's not my birthday. Aww. Get your hand off me. You've been in the food. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wash my hair. Ugh, don't wash my hair. I'm gonna wash it. Ah! You know, they've been together longer than you've been alive. Also, what is up with guys only being nice to you on your birthday? Like, that's a real thing. This bird is at the grocery store protecting his eggs. Who's gonna tell him? There ain't no bird in there. Chocolate covered caramel eggs. My guy, you're protecting the wrong kind of egg. Does it even matter? The humans are gonna eat them anyway. Oh, no, I feel kind of bad. Look what you did. Look what you did to my car. You scratched it. So this guy scratched his car, How took out some money. Like, hey, let me pay you. This all you got? Yeah, two points. This all your money right here? Yeah. You got like 30 something yeah. dollars. You got more? No, nothing. That's everything? Yeah. Sorry, my friend. You know what? Here, take your money. Aww. Hey, take your money. I don't want your money. I thought he was gonna yell at him, make it a TikTok. Like, dang, bro, that's all you got? That ain't gonna pay to fix my car. But no, the exact opposite. And he just gives don't him back Don't worry about his it. Money. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll fix it myself. Quantum. Nah, don't worry about it. Go okay, ahead. Come on, don't worry about it. Just drive safe next time. Okay. Drive safely next time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go to your car. No, 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 no. Go to your car. Go ahead. Poppy, go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Poppy, go, go. go ahead. Don't worry. Don't worry, Poppy. I forgive you. No, nah, don't worry about it. I don't want your money. I don't one want your money. Go ahead. One hundred, That one hundred, please. Yeah. Please. He's like, please, bro, let me pay you. Let me pay you all I got. No, if that's all you got, you keep it. You know this? Restored just a little bit of faith in humanity. The guy is already struggling. And like, making him pay for the car is just gonna add to that struggle. That's your last money. I don't want it. I don't want it, Pop. Just drive safe next then. time. Play. Poppy, don't okay. worry about it. Go ahead. You good. Don't worry. Go ahead, go Poppy. Go? go ahead. Go. Sorry, Poppy. Okay, no problem, Pop. No problem. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'll okay. take care of it. All right. You know, you probably made his life a lot easier. You know, sometimes when you mess up, you need a little bit of forgiveness. Just don't do it again. So she set up her camera and tripod. And she's going to take outfit pictures. Oh, is this how so they do it? So damn cute. <laughs> Thank you. No, I like, I like clothes. Yeah. Just I'm kick like, ass. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I saw her, I'm like, wait.
wait, did a Karen just show up? No, she's not a Karen. She's just Karen. The anti-Karen. You know, these videos just catch me off guard because I'm so used to something bad happening. A Karen coming out of nowhere and ruining the fun. But no, she was just like, slide! Just got the new wireless beanie hat. What? They make these now? Hey, I have never seen one of these in real life. Helicopter, helicopter. My dude dripped out with that hat. I didn't know they make these hats with a remote. Like you could just turn the fan on. I thought there was one with like a manual spinner. We got a Bluetooth one now. Whoa, technology. <laughs> I noticed whenever I put Chonk in my bed, he would start licking my bed sheets and my pillows, and I was wondering what the heck that was about, so I looked it up. Apparently, since my bed sheets are soft and they smell like me, he thinks that's my fur. So he thinks he's grooming my fur by licking my bed sheets. That is so oh, cute and stupid. No! I love you, Chonk. I always thank him after he does this now. My dogs do that too when they go on my bed and then they'll start licking the sheets. I'm like, ew, stop. What are you doing? I guess because it smells like me. Oh no, this is too pure. I cannot take this. We really don't deserve animals. When my son hugs my dog, he always hugs back. Where's the hug button? Oh, he hugs him! He just, just wraps his paws around him and just gives him a hug back. Oh, so freaking sweet. I want dog to give me hug. When your auntie blows your mind. Oh. What is that? Wow. <laughs> wow, I ain't never seen anybody take the cap off like that. Wow. You mean you didn't just like screw it off? She just like one handed it, one fingered it. So impressed. There's this kid on a plane who wanted some snacks, so they gave him a chip. Oh, he giving snacks in return. And you know what? Sometimes it pays to share your snacks. Like, hey, let me get what you're having. You want some of what I got? A snack for a snack. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Ooh. Why you jump off the bed? Yeah, again? No, don't do it. Wait. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure you don't got nine lives. Everything's a 13th reason for a hamster. It's not a hamster. It's a guinea pig, right? Oh, I'm gonna sound real stupid if I'm wrong. Oh, how is he sitting like that? Wait, so is he sitting and they just added legs? Like, I know dang well. That dog ain't sitting with his legs dangling off the bench. They dressed him up like a whole entire human. He waiting for the bus to take him to school. They made a heart in the snow. Can you pick it up without breaking it? Oh, you can! Oh, whoa, that came out clean. That is some good hard snow. Oh, so satisfying. Oof, I thought that was gonna break for sure. Crumble into a million pieces. So she became a single mom at 20 years old and she didn't know how she was gonna do it. My parents, my brothers, everybody is so supportive and helping her take care of the child. My grandparents, my aunts, my cousins. Bro, the family list just keeps going on and on. This ain't your child, this is everybody's child. This is the family child. You know what, not so bad. This is gonna be so sweet when the kid grows up and you show them this video. That kid already got more friends than I do. You can take a small bite, just bite the corner like this. Oh, dang, that butter Listen, toast looks good. Bite. Gentle. Oh, he's so polite. My dogs could never, no self-control whatsoever. But he waited so patiently for his buttered toast. And then, okay, very polite little nibble. When you surprise your daughter for her 17th birthday. Uh-huh. What's in that to box? What you get her? Mommy, no. Oh, <gasps> ooh, it's keys. Mommy, are you for real? Mommy. Aww. Mommy, are you here? Mommy, are you here? Oh, so sweet. She's so excited. Oh, let's go outside. Let's see it. Is it a prank? Please don't be a prank. I'm gonna break her heart. Oh! <laughs> hey, she got a car! And it's white. Nobody is allowed to complain over a white car. You know, I've seen way too many clips of spoiled kids complaining about the color, complaining about the car. It's so nice to see somebody so grateful for their gift. One of his personal training clients, an 80 year old, didn't know how to leave a Google review, so she wrote him a handwritten review. Oh, that's sweet! It's a whole page, too! Google review. Do not know how to use Google. What is a Google? Is it like Tic Tac? Handwrites 
a review about what she likes about him. It's sweet, but how will other clients find me? I saw this TikTok of this little kid's grandpa who is 109 years old. Whoa. I think he is blessing the child by holding and blowing on their head. Oh guys, so tomorrow's my sister's like seventh birthday. And it's all the stuff I got her. And so I just want to show you guys like, like how I'm going to put it in. He got a sister song for her birthday? Wow. Growing up, I don't remember me gifting my siblings anything or them giving me anything. Okay, she always be stealing my crayons, so I got her crayons. I already know she be loving gummy bears, so I got two to put on each side like that. She loves airheads, so I got her like the gummy airheads because I just know she likes gummies in general. She always be crying to me at night. Oh, is there you turn on the light? Nah, bro. I got you a light. <gasps> A she nice my gum too, so I got her gum. And she likes watermelon, so I don't know. I just got her watermelon. And my sister, oh my god, I should be complaining. And Lonnie, you stole, you stole all my hair ties. So I got her, I got her, her four favorite colors. She likes black, purple, pink, and blue. So I got her these. Dang, he made her a gift box full of her favorite snack, hair ties, a night light, some iced tea, some flowers. This is the dream. Got her all the stuff because she always be complaining. She better stop complaining after this. The gift to stop all the complaining. You got no more reasons to complain. I don't want to hear nothing out of you. My guy housemates. I was in a rush and jokingly asked them to make me an outfit to change into. And I came home to this. What? Those are actually really nice. That's a better outfit than I can put together. Those are cleaning up the shoes laid out and everything. I am pleasantly surprised. They did a great job. Trust me. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear balaclavas. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls avoid the drama. Oh, <gasps> it's for the cat. I was like, girl, what are you knitting? Underwear? I thought it was a leg hole. It's an ear hole. Turn cat into babushka. How will you feed your family? <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's a dog. So tiny. I thought it was Baby Yoda or something. No, it is Chihuahua. Riding in the basket of the bag. Hey, look. I think they want to put you in a TikTok. So this guy surprised his wife with a charcuterie board. So he just waiting for her to get back from work. Decided to surprise her. Got some cheese, got some fruit, got some chocolates, some flowers. Oh, this is fancy. I ain't never seen a charcuterie board look so fancy. You got some wine and then she comes home from work like, whoa. Aww. <laughs> You know, that's real sweet. Like, I cannot tell you how much women appreciate these kind of things. Like, it doesn't have to be a whole entire charcuterie board. You don't even gotta roll up the prosciutto. No. Like, even if you got her some flowers, surprised her with her favorite candy. Trust me, that stuff makes our day. Oh! Oh! She fancy! I've never seen a dog so dripped out. Gucci skirt, the Giuseppe heels. I know how to ride a scooter. They make scooters for dogs. Probably for a toddler. <laughs> So watch this, my cat literally closes the curtains on his shoebox house. It's Poe! It sticks its Poe through the hole! Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh, that is so cute. Hello, friends, it's me. Today, we're gonna be watching some wholesome TikToks. Why does this have your name on it then? What is this? What is that? Open that up. What is that? Take that out of there. Oh, what, is that that? what is that? What is that? What is that? Why are you yelling at him like he ordered drugs off the dark web? What is this? Read what that says. Happy birthday, love mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a birthday present from her. Why was she so aggressive about it? Like, yeah, you got him a phone, but traumatized the kid in the process. The aquarium in Dubai offers a special otter experience. You can touch their little arms and they love it. <gasps> I'm booking my flight right now. I have never wanted to do something so bad. <laughs> they stick their little paws in the holes and you could like hold them. Would love to ask for their paw in marriage and then just dip. Y'all really thought I would marry an otter? So they're going for a little drive. And then suddenly this car just stops and then somebody gets out and then... Oh, okay. <laughs> Nice, that was very nice of him. Man, I would have immediately locked my doors, went into fight or flight. I feel like most of the time, it's not somebody that's trying to help you. I've seen too many of these videos where they just like surround your car and try to hijack it. Oh, your hood's open. Just nice guy. Decent people exist. First session, yeah? Project Mbappe. <laughs> I'm gonna pass you the ball. I need you to dribble through the cones, yeah? And then... Go over the hurdles after. You gotta teach them when they're still young. Ah, right, cool, go. Cool. Nah. Boski! <laughs> we dealing with him, bro. <laughs> he 
his shoes. Parents be like, oh, I'll grow into them. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's a travel bag, but the dog's head sticks out. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. But why are you letting him lick the lollipop like that? And then you accidentally put it back in your mouth. My parents devastated that their little girl has cancer. Me, who can't stop sticking stuff to my head. Whoa, the Cheerios? Hey, that's pretty impressive. When I thought it couldn't get any more impressive. The shaving cream scalp, a sprinkled scalp, with matching brows. <laughs> Simply bedazzled the bald. What is that? Twizzlers? The Cheerios are just classy. It is what it is. <laughs> what the dog doing? How is he riding that thing? Oh no, he got into a little collision. Little oopsie. Where are y'all getting these fearless animals from? My dogs are afraid to get their paws wet. Paralyzed from the neck down, you'll never walk again. No, cause what's that? I see him walking, there is hope. If he can stand on two feet, there is hope. You can learn to walk again. Oh, he doing it, he really doing it. Now you gonna prove that doctor wrong. You said I can't what? Really show them. There he is at Coachella, walking on his feet. This is like inspirational. Doctor says you gonna die? No, I don't think I will. I'm gonna live. It's like Nike, just do it. Excuse me, would you like this watermelon or should I double it for the next person? Oh, wow. Well, I'm, I'm kind of by myself right now, so double it for the next person. So instead of doubling the money, we're gonna double the watermelons and give them away? Okay. So do you want two watermelons or should I double it for the next person? You want some watermelon? Okay, how much? Ah, uh, free? Mm. Aww. Well, Can I take a bite too? Very long. Okay. Free watermelons? Heck yeah! I thought he was gonna walk up to somebody with 16 melons in a wheelbarrow. Kind of disappointed. Obsessed with the way Eeyore signs his autographs. Oh, for a second, I'm like, wait, what is he doing? I thought he was crying. But no, he has the notepad on his snout. While he does a little autograph. Oh, he is so sweet. Protect him at all costs. No, the snout does get in the way of a lot of things. Japanese preschoolers going on a morning walk. Oh, I thought you had one on a leash. But they're all just holding on to a rope and going for a little walk. They all got little red hats on. Why is this so wholesome? I didn't do this as a kid. Japan just better. <laughs> Anything to hype his girl up. Did you see that? He was quick with it, threw one up, and then just put it in her mouth to make her feel like she caught it. You know what? I'ma let her celebrate. She caught that. Oh, a couple little trick-or-treaters out here. It's a little early for Halloween, but your costumes trick -or -treaters. are so trick or treat. Oh, trick or treat. what do they want? What are you trick giving them? Oh, a marshmallow. Oh, they're oh, so sweet. Shot. They don't even like try to run in the house. I don't know that raccoons like marshmallows. You mean I could just like sit outside with a bag of marshmallows and they would come to me? <gasps> What's he doing the chubby bunny challenge? Yeah, he gotta be doing the chubby bunny challenge. Why are those cheeks so big? What is he hiding in there? That's where he stores his nuts for the winter. Have the urge to deflate. This dog goes around to farmer's markets and shops for its owner. How does the dog know what the owner wants? Yeah, give me that one. What if they scam the dog? Do you see how smart this dog is? Oh, he grabbed the butt cheek. Hey, that's not for sale. Now he told her to get out of the way so he could grab some oranges. <laughs> this dog is so smart. What if somebody steals from the dog? Yeah, this is wild. What about money? Hold on, let me just pull out my wallet. Pay for the food. I'm not gonna lie, it looks fun. Yeah, hamsters always be dying in the weirdest ways possible. This might just be one of them. The one spinning the wheel knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, she's surprising her with a wig. Oh, that looks good. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Look, look at it, look in the mirror. Look how gorgeous you look. Aw, that is so sweet. Oh, she loves it. She out here changing lives. Hair or no hair, beautiful girl. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Is there any chance I could use your speaker? What speaker? Like, do you have like a, like a public speaker for, yeah, for what? 
I just wanted to tell everybody that everything here is free. But it's not. This is a store. Things cost money here. You can't just hijack our speaker and say, everything's free. <laughs> You can't tell everybody everything is free. I'm gonna pay for everything right now. Oh. Whoever's in the store. Oh my God. Well, in that case, that? you didn't mention you were big well, balling. I can tell my manager, and that's my manager. I wanna go on the microphone and tell everyone here that whatever they're getting, it's free. Uh, well, who's paying for that? I am. Are you serious? Attention shoppers. Everything in the store the next five to ten minutes is free. Okay, but what if your card declines? With my luck, that would happen. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for everybody's card. Why my card declining? Why not? This is for spike. Enjoy your bike, bro. Enjoy your summer, Aww. man. When my wife passed away, all the money I made for my second job for 40 years, I turned around and gave to Ron and McDonough House. If I can do something to make their life a little bit better, so be it. Aww. Like, that was really sweet. Why not? I got that TikTok money. Like they put on a fake tooth on a dog. I'm surprised he allowed that. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> you made him look ridiculous. My dogs don't let me anywhere near their mouth. Y'all just attach some buck teeth on this dog. You look goofy. Built a water slide for my ducklings. They love it. Oh, they're just going down the water slide. Oh, they can go back up. Look at the waddle. Are you scared? Come on, go. What you waiting for? Oh, so worth it. Okay, but hear me out. See it from their perspective. It's like you go down the water slide and you get sent to the back rooms and then try to go back up and there's nowhere to go except down the slide again and then up and it's like a never ending cycle of infinite water slide glitch. Good thing they don't got more than two brain cells. Like, very polite warning. <laughs> With a little struggle, he's like, fine. I will allow this pedicure. You have to ask for permission. Why those bunnies look so spoiled? They look like they're judging me too. <laughs> dog to ride a scooter kid was so mesmerized trying to record it gets knocked over no photo please the dog is way too cute i could not be mad about that it just blows my mind when i see dogs riding things i've seen so many dogs on skateboards but a scooter like standing up like i could barely do that as a human there's this little animation i saw on tiktok i want to tell you now this made me cry actual tears i was bawling Ornament. Nobody wants him. Nobody wants to buy him. Oh wait. Somebody bought him. <laughs> Giving it as a gift. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, they don't want him. Put him back in the box. Oh, re-gift him. That's just rude. Disrespectful. Who re-gifts so gifts? Oh, they put him away. Oh, re-gifted once again. I think he is a gorgeous, shiny fella. Who wouldn't want that sitting on their bookshelf? Oh. A back to the thrift store you go. When I was a kid, I always had a soft spot for random objects because I believed that everything had a soul. Inanimate objects had feelings. So I would always treat cute little objects with respect. Aw. Be all alone. <gasps> no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. You have so much to live for. One day, someone will love you. <laughs> it just did it! Just jumped off the shelf! <gasps> the Darman, moral of the story. This was on the inside that counts. So angry, I wanna punch something. I was actually so sad.
Hello friends, it's me. And if I sound a little weird, I think I'm getting sick. But the show must go on. And we're gonna be watching some wholesome TikToks today. My grandma gives suspiciously large gifts. What could it be? <gasps> bumper cars? Where do you even buy one of these? For everybody? Everybody gets a bumper car? Imagine being the most hated child and not getting a bumper car. There's nothing you could do except go cry in a corner. Not everybody got one. I didn't even know you could buy these. Grandma a professional gift giver or something? Y'all could just play bumper cars in your living room? That is so cool. Those kids are gonna have a great childhood. Build up the sink. Oh, so the little duckies can swim. They just hopped right on in. They knew exactly what to do. Oh, the little, I was gonna call them piggies, but they're like flippers. Little flippers waddling in the water. Yeah, I'm not a big duck fan, but these are adorable. I'm changed, reformed. I'm a duck fan now, love ducks. Maybe only the babies. I must know, have they learned to quack yet? They're so fluffy and sweet, look. POV, you're taking a bath with a duck. And he just looked you in the eye a little too suspiciously. Like, hey, you sure you're supposed to be here? You ain't one of us. You got games on your phone. When your daughter's Barbie dream house Christmas present arrives a week early, unpackaged. <gasps> she okay, knew it was for her. She saw a pink box. Close your eyes. Get inside. It's Get inside. Late. That is not for you. Oh. That is not for you. That's the wrong house. <laughs> Damn it. You did not see that. You did not see that. Really? That's what they send it in? <laughs> They didn't even bother wrapping it. Like, no, nah, it's too big. That Barbie dream house is for kids who did not see anything. Now go inside, eat your applesauce, and forget about everything you just saw. And maybe if you lucky, Santa will get you one for Christmas. I'm surprised you ran up to it right away knowing what it was. Like, it's big, it's pink, it has to be a life-size Barbie dream house. That kid knows too much. He wanted to show me the flower he found. I love flower. Oh, it was a dandelion. You know, the ones that you blow? And as he was running, all the petals or fluff or whatever you call it came off of it. And then he realized, oh no, it's worthless. I don't want it anymore. It ain't a flower anymore. It's just a stem. Little does he know, that disappointment is what life is all about. I'm kidding, but not really. <laughs> yes, 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 laugh through the pain. What do you want to do when you grow up? Uh, I'm gonna be a doctor. How much do you want to make? My heart, faith in humanity restored. Like he wants to be a doctor and she asked him how much you want to make. And she meant like money. He didn't even think about money. Not, I want to make 500K a year. Talk about a Lambo. You want to make people feel okay. A true king. And society needs more people like this. But where to find them? What's it like raising Lily and Daisy? Oh my goodness, they are so sweet. Oh no, no, not so sweet. As soon as I said that, one of them popped a squat on the carpet. I never thought today would be the day I would see a baby deer taking a poo. It kind of squat down like a dog. Oh, back to it being sweet. Walk it on a leash. You know, maybe all four-legged animals are like dog. Oh, time to skateboard. You see the tiniest little knee pad? Those legs are frail. That is such a sweet animal. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's getting too big. You gonna let him out in the wild? <laughs> Why do they look like a donkey? <laughs> no, they're deer, but oh now it is a horse. Congratulations. Had to take another poo. You know, watering my horse so it grows even larger. Aww. I just watched this animal grow up. Cute, sweet little baby to losing all of its spots and becoming horse. That is a shame that they lose their spots when they grow up. So sweet. Told him I had a headache, so he came to my bio class and took notes from me. Even though he had a business presentation right after. So this is your friend or your boyfriend? I mean, can you just like walk into other people's classes and just like, Oh, my girl is absent today. I'm gonna take notes for her. I mean, honestly, you could, huh? This is very nice of him. Oh no, there's a car coming. There's a car coming. Hurry up. Okay, good thing they're on the other side of the road. Is that a puppy? What is a puppy doing out in the wild? Did somebody abandon him? Oh, poor thing. Oh, oh, he's sweet. I'm pretty sure somebody abandoned him out here. And then she rescued him. Oh, no. I cannot tell you how upset this makes me. That people just, like, take puppies that they don't want and then just, like, let them out in the wild. You can't do that. They're gonna die. Like, if you have a litter of puppies and, like, you can't afford them, there are plenty of, like, animal shelters that you can give them to. Or just, like, go on Facebook. Be like, Ayo, I got all these puppies. Come take them. I guarantee you will find somebody who will want to adopt them. Don't do this. Is Patrick Star or a child in here? That's not a child. 
Is it? It is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they gave a kid a little star suit. And videos like this that give you the baby fever. I want this. Put a baby in me now. Hey, what are you doing to the baby? Why are you holding her like that? Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> the little smile. Oh, this is how you make your first snow angel. She's just laying there like, what's going on? It's cold. What now? <laughs> it's very cute, but I'm sorry. All I can imagine when I see a kid in one of these like winter jumpsuits, all I can imagine is them skiing and doing a little flip. Y'all have probably seen this, but last Halloween, Mr. Beast was giving out iPhones instead of candy on Halloween. Hey, you want an iPhone? Yes, yes, please. Like, you want an iPhone? Yo, there I you love go. the costume. Here's an iPhone. Thank you. Oh, oh my look, God. You get two costume. from me You get costume. two iPhones. iPhone. Do they not Happy recognize Halloween. him? Like, hey, Mr. Beast just gave you an iPhone. Are you not gonna, like, freak out? You want an iPhone? Maybe he's Here wearing a costume. Happy Halloween. Here, take him. Here's an iPhone. Thank you. You want an iPhone? Oh, yes, Everybody okay, gets an iPhone. an iPhone. Oh, there's two people. I guess. One there we go. They probably Happy think Halloween. there's candy in it or something. You want two AirPods? Thank you. Oh, no, we ran out of iPhones. Better start giving out some PS5s and AirPods. I would have told my parents this house is giving out iPhones. Changed costumes and went back again and again and again. I dropped one of my AirPods in a vent on the street. Random King getting it out for me. Oh, he actually did it. Wow. I'm surprised he was able to. Like, it didn't drop that deep. You got lucky with this one. There's no getting it out. Kiss your AirPod goodbye. It has vanished into a forbidden realm. A realm where there might be hundreds or even thousands of missing single AirPods. Those things are so easy to lose. They just be popping out of your ear if you don't got enough earwax to, like, keep them intact. Like that. That's fine. But only because, like, I could never imagine. Imagine this happening. Walked downstairs at 6.30 this morning to find my son holding this. I asked him what was in it. Probably not food, huh? It's a surprise. You can't look until you get to work. Well, I just got to work. What's in it? Stop gatekeeping. Open it up. How oh, snacks. A ton of snacks. That is far too many snacks to eat on one's lunch break. Oh, you know what? Just slide those right into the snack drawer. You good for the rest of the week. Do appreciate a good snack supply. What's that sound? Hi. Whose bedroom is this? Who living in the shed? <gasps> oh no, there are simply too many. <laughs> Why they make it Animal Crossing sounds? <laughs> hey, it's chow time. Nobody hungry? Definitely look like they're well fed. Oh my goodness, I can't believe there's so many of them. Do you ever just like lay down in a pile of them and just give them a little butt squeeze? I don't think I've ever held a guinea pig, but if I did, that's what I would do. Give it a little butt squeeze. If that's so very wrong of me, I don't want to be right. So she has this little stand helping out the homeless by giving them food, water, snacks, candy, and other things that they might need. No, they're not. I gotta put them back on there. How are you doing? Good. Candy? Yes, ma'am, okay. a chocolate. Okay, let's get you oh, a burger. Oh, he really want a reason. Burger, please. Burger? Yes, oh, you got burgers, too? You giving out burgers, candy, cupcake. waters? Cupcake? Okay, honey. No soda. No soda? No, ma'am. Okay. I, I got water. Okay, honey. You want an extra oh, water? Oh, bless no, her. No. Okay, which kind of candy will you want right here? The Reese's. Reese's, okay. Thank and you so you, much. You're welcome. You want to do one thing from over here? Oh, I am I allowed to get you. popcorn? Yeah, I'll get that for you, honey. Oh, oh this is you. so I'll sweet. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on, honey. Oh. Did you want to do a sleeping bag or tent or a blanket? Uh, a blanket only if you have enough. I do have enough, honey. I'm fine. All right, here thank you are, you so You're welcome. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, he's so f***ing adorable. Aww. Oh, <laughs> he was he's very so sweet. Cute. Tell my son it's his turn to pay the bill. This. You know what? It's about time, little Billy. It's your turn to pay. Today's the day you eat these wings and become a man. You got money? You have money? Do you have money on you? No, I'm asking you to pay. <laughs> okay. You have money? I don't have that. You can pay for it, then I'll give you money when I go home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was recording you. Oh, he's reasonable. You pay for it. I got money at home, under my bed. I can't pay you now, but I'll pay you later. I thought he was just going to be like, no. Start a fight about how he's a child and doesn't have money. I feel like kids are just, like, not aware. I swear, they all just think they're grown. Like, oh, it's my turn to pay? Oh, okay, I got you when I go home. Or I can Venmo you later. <laughs> Giving my twins only one Jaffa cake to see if they'll share. Oh, they do! And they even bite out of the same spot in the cookie. Ugh. Y'all don't even bite on the other side. 
<laughs> That's the germaphobe in me speaking. I don't know, when I'm sharing food with anybody, I always have to like take a bite on the opposite side. Like I never bite over their bite. Is, is that weird? Am I just the weird one? And these are some great kids. Growing up, when I was a child, I never learned to share. I was like very territorial over my things. Like you give me a cookie, it's my cookie. I've definitely improved in that area. Like my friends wanna borrow my car, go for it. Here's the key. A girl talks to my boyfriend, it's World War III. Asking my husband if we could switch milkshakes. Of course. What'd you get again? White chocolate Oh, that raspberry. sounds good. Oh. It's good, right? I like yours better than mine. <laughs> I knew you would. I Where'd you get a white chocolate raspberry one, shake? Switch, please. I want one. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Yeah, no, that's, that's okay, honey. I don't know. I can, do you want me to just get you your own or do you want to... I don't know. You can have it. Are you positive? I'm positive. I've already had like half of it anyway, so it's all yours. Aww. You know, maybe he didn't even like it to begin with. He was like, okay, you know what? Just take the rest of it. What's mine is yours. A relationship like this. When both flight attendants understood the assignment, cookies exiting the plane. Oh, she just gave her a handful of those Biscoff cookies. Like, oh, you like these? Nobody likes them. Here, take them. You know, sometimes ask and you shall receive. I never had one of these before because I literally cannot eat them, but are they good? I wore my design out to the city and was not prepared for this. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> Everybody just hyping her up. Amazing. You look amazing. You're glowing. You're like a goddess. Oh, why? It's giving yes. I will give you everything, right now, darling. For the love of God. <laughs> Girl, where you going looking like a fine little bottle of glitter? I don't know what city you live in, but the people here are really nice. <laughs>